the people that set up the pyrotechnics and did our special effects, et cetera. So just stay on that path. It was about 150, 200 yard sprint. And he's like, explosions are gonna go off periodically. And we're like, where? <laughs> he's like, right uh, somewhere, like, just all over the place. And we're like, look at each other like, <laughs> all over the place, what are you talking about? And then we hear action. Oh, and we just started running. So we had no idea and everything's just blowing up all over. The, it, was, it was quite a wild day. I think we had wow. to do it a few times. <laughs> <It was an laughs> extra like standing. And then, we did have to do it a few yeah. times. It's gonna be hard to beat this movie in terms of yeah. the experience and the adventure of a lifetime. I mean, this one, it took us out of any safe zone we really had ever been in and immersed us in Thailand, in this other world of filmmaking that was very, very unique. I don't know how you can beat it. I still can't believe you came all this way just to bring me a beer. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Diving into this movie that is telling this kind of unbelievably true story, what was it about his story and you know the way that you could tell it in a feature film and, and add that kind of nuance to it that really excited you? Well, there was just so many amazing things and I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see the photos of him in the foxholes with the soldiers drinking the beers and hear their first hand accounts of what happened. But the fact that he, he had the idea to go over, deliver his friend's beer in war, actually pull it off, get there, and then Tet Offensive happens, which is the biggest battle of Vietnam, while he's there, that was just too much to, I, I had to do it. Zach, what about for you? I mean, because when you see this on the surface, and obviously, you know, Peter has been known for making comedies, but also made dramas as well. You think, oh, this could be like a fun romp, and then you see the, the different twists and turns and really kind of a deeper uh, moments that he has to go through through this. You know, what was it about that, or was it just that, uh, that made you uh, interested in taking it on? Yeah, it, it was all of that. I love Chicky's heart in it. I love what he sets out to do. Um, really to just prove, uh, he wants someone to be there for his friends, for his good buddies that he grew up with that are out there laying, putting their lives on the line. And um, in a time where he really can't figure out a way to, to apply himself at all, he, he knows something he can do, and that's, that's bring them all a beer. Um, and as silly as that sounds, uh, what starts off as, as a very fun journey Every one of his friends that he meets and encounters along the way uh, sort of opens up a new window into the actual war and what's happening. So he's growing and changing um, you know, with, with each chapter. And each of these characters, uh, his brothers and friends, are chapters in this story. And so he really has a, a great, powerful growth throughout this movie. And um, it's a unique one, because I don't think we've ever had a Vietnam film made from the perspective of a civilian before. Absolutely. So. Let's talk about Chicky for a second because he and the boys are all gratefully, you know, able to see this movie. Have they have they seen this movie? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what was the reaction? That's what that's what that's the one review that we really need to know about the most. What did they make of all of y'all's portrayals and of course also all of your accents? Well, I, I, we spoke to the guys earlier today and they were just over the moon and it, that just makes us all like <laughs> yeah. so happy. Um, but actually I, I was watching an interview with Hayden Christensen about Star Wars, kind of a little bit off topic. <laughs> but it was like a, he said it's like a time capsule, right? Yeah. And I think that's the same thing for this. Obviously it's a true story and this is something that they're going to be able to show their children and their children's children, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to kind of go on forever, which is, which is a really beautiful thing that they can, you know, see this film that was made about an incredible true story. Yeah, I mean, it was such an honor, um, other than it being such an incredible and indelible experience to play, you know, some of these real life soldiers uh, who were in Vietnam. And, um, you know, some of these guys were getting spit on coming back from uh, war. So I think our hopes were that it would just uh, you know, ring true and have a sense of uh, certain authenticity when they saw the film and, you know, when there was that rep uh, response from them. It was, you know, it was, it was incredible. It was awesome. Uh, I got to talk to uh, Bobby Pappas, who's the, the character I play in it. Um, he and Chicky are really good friends. So it was moving to find out that they felt honored by what we've all created. I think that's 
That's incredible. I don't think it gets much better than, than that, to have the story of the people you're telling that story about I kind of feel as honored as you are to, to do it in the first place. Yeah, I think there's a lot of responsibility and a lot of pressure sometimes when you're playing a real person as opposed to you know a character that's made up. You can kind of make him whatever you want, but when it's a real person, it's, uh, you're kind of dealing with someone's life and like you were saying, their kids and their grand, grandkids and, mm. and all that, and uh, that's when stuff gets real. So I'm, I'm excited that we were able to do that and hopefully make them proud. You guys were kind of fully immersed into what this world and this experience for Chicky was like. You know, what were some of the challenges involved in kind of recreating uh, his journey through Vietnam? We were, we were really out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was mud. And, <laughs> we were in the jungle. Uh, yeah, the heat. Mud was, would come up to here and, and it stuck to your legs. It was like a different kind of mud, mm -hmm. you know, and so it wouldn't go off. You'd yeah. be walking around with like 50 pounds on your, on your feet. We had guys passing out left and right. Uh, <laughs> it was scary. Real hellicopters coming in. Yeah. yeah. You just had all kinds of Chugging things. in like Yeah, yeah that was scary. They haven't been, yeah. you know, flown in two years <laughs> and we're getting on yeah. them. It was scary. Or longer, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I found out one of the ones I rode in, just happy as the clam, was like, hadn't been flown in like 10 years. It was like on the scrap heap. <laughs> yeah, not, not I just find that out until I'm like, oh I was like, that's why everyone on here is friggin' nervous. Everybody <laughs> looks so scared. We had so much trouble with the getting helicopters that we actually were driving along one day and we saw a coffee shop made out of an old C-140 jet. Yeah, yeah. It was just a coffee shop parked in a parking lot. And you go in the back and you get your coffee and we rented it from them. And we had it towed away because we had no planes, we had no helicopters, oh we had nothing. We didn't have much of a budget. Zach, you've talked a little bit about how part of the reason why you wanted to take this role and as you kind of move forward in your career in general, that you're looking to transform, to do something different, to kind of get out of the way that, that folks have seen you in, in past roles and previous things. What was it about playing Chicky that allowed you to do that? Um, you know, it's, uh, one of the things that, that stuck out from the beginning is Chicky is, he really is, he's in every scene of this film. So, um, mm -hmm. I, that's something, you, you don't have that opportunity every day. And uh, on top of that, I just, the material itself, the script, just had this magic to it. I was, I, as I was reading it, I was visualizing it, and it just all sort of clicked. I, I understood his point of view, the audience's point of, point of view, I could see what the audience might be taking from it. Um, so when things line up that way, you just sense magic. And I knew that uh, if, with Pete, especially at, at the helm, that uh, the right guidance, I could, be, I could probably fit into this guy and, and um, you know, help take people on this adventure. So as far as like new stuff and new challenges, it's, you know, it's a movie that kind of defies genre, so that's, that's something different. I've never really done that before, and um, I also got to do a, a kick-ass accent, which was fun. And yeah, there was no real singing or dancing in this one. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you and Russell Crowe weren't, like, at, there's not a scene, like, on the cutting room floor of you guys in the bar? I was going to say they cut it all. They, they, yeah, there was yeah. one, there a couple. <laughs> Russell just wants to sing and dance. Yeah, he's, he does. <laughs> he does, legitimately. Yeah. I mean, he has, he has the chops for it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know why he, he didn't does. write it in, Peter. He has a band, too, by the way. He's got a great voice. Yeah. He's a great musician. Fun. Yeah. This is a crazy group of actors in this. I predict that, like Diner, the movie Diner had all unknown actors, or not that well known. They're all going to explode. Right. I believe one day you're going to be looking back at this movie like, can you believe that cast? You believe this, this, this. It was, it was crazy how good they were. Yeah. Zach and Peter, you guys might be doing it again sometime soon. Something a little different, but working together again sometime soon. Yeah, we're trying to do, you know, we're talking about doing it, uh, a comedy in uh, this uh, winter. So, yeah.